Okay, let's check in now okay. with Ed Rappaport uh, at the National Hurricane Center. Ed, it's been uh, two years since we talked like this. Of course, we've talked in person since then. Um, and I'm not going to ask about how you're doing because I know you, like all of the specialists there at the Hurricane Center, prepare just like we do in South Florida. That's right. Um, I spent time today uh, bringing in the, uh, the yard uh, uh, equipment and uh, tables, and um, tomorrow might be the shutters. Okay, so Ed, I think the real question is, is that because some of the models have now shifted a bit to the right along the coast, there's always that sense that because people want to follow the models so closely, especially the ones that are more favorable. What is your message to those of us in South Florida, Miami-Dade and Broward, and probably Palm Beach County as well with this shift in the models? Well, it'd be wonderful if that shift is what we will actually see uh, occur. The problem is the model shifted one way this six hours, and um, there's no remorse for them if they shift back the other way in six hours. So at this stage, all of South Florida and the central part of the state uh, need to be ready for a possible significant landfall uh, later on Sunday and Monday. And if we're talking about category three or four, and that's where we're, what we're looking at now, that means significant wind, potentially damaging wind, and potentially deadly storm surge. And then finally, when do you think that South Florida might start to see watches, hurricane watches first, and maybe even, maybe even storm surge watches for that matter? We're talking now about the, that perhaps tomorrow morning. Don't know whether it'll be with our 5 a.m. or 11 a.m. advisory, but uh, the slowing of the forward speed has given a little more time for us to get ready. So that's good news. Um, hopefully, though, um, that will also allow the storm to turn because a slow moving storm when it gets here prolongs the impact and we don't want to have that. Right, okay, thanks Ed. You guys are doing a great job over there. Ed Rappaport, the Deputy Director at the National Hurricane Center. And uh, so that's, that's the latest from there and from us. Back to you.